Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Today we're catching, cleaning, and cooking baby deer. You guys excited? Yeah! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Today we are in the Rocky Mountains and we're going to be doing some primitive hunting, trapping, and cooking. Hope you guys are excited because this is going to be an awesome video. You guys ready? Yeah! First off, I'm going to show you how to build a primitive snare. And uh, we're going to do that with just some basic tools here. First, we've got to select a nice, stretchy, willowy uh, a tree here. Is that, is that helping? Yeah. Oh, good. That did it. Can you get all these branches off? All right, we've got a nice, thick branch here. Now let's go find ourselves a trigger. That's the one I was going to Okay, now you gotta find yourself a fork stick. You want a pretty decent one. And we're gonna sharpen this end. I wanna carve this to a point right about here. I broke it. So once you've got this carved, I'm gonna put a notch right about here. There we go, got a nice little notch carved in right there. It's nice and pointy here. Sharpen down here. We're ready for the next part. All right guys, so here's the trigger. We got it flat and sharp on one point, then long skinny point on the other, okay? Let me show you how this trigger mechanism works. You take this pointy side down, shove it into the ground really good. You take this trigger and you balance it right there. And then you put your meat or bait right there. And you have a string attached to a noose or a snare like this. When something sticks its head in here and munch with the bait, they stick their head through the noose and they bump it and fwink. This flies up in the air, tightens the noose around their neck. We found this great little spot where deer have been pawing away, eating roots or berries or something like that. So we're gonna build a deer trap. And I'm gonna show you guys how to trap and snare deer. Then hopefully we'll catch one and uh, do a little catch and cook video for you too as well. Go down here and dig this out, okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Go for it. I've got this long flexible sapling here and I'm going to put it in the ground as hard as I can. Get it nice and anchored here. To make the snare I'm going to use monofilament. Not the best thing to use but it's what I've got. Some 40 pound mono here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a length of this and tie it from the sapling to the trigger and then I'm going to take another little bit and make a slip knot noose that's gonna be right there by the trigger. Tommy, will you do me a favor and pull this down? Uh, yes, I will. You see here, these little sticks keep the noose open around the trigger. And you put the bait on the trigger, something touches the trigger, whoink! The stick gets caught in the snare, and the trigger is up here. And it just chokes the animal. Even if it doesn't lift them off the ground, it just chokes them. Now we're gonna get the trap baited up and set for real and we're gonna use one of my favorite baits. As far as bait goes, nothing beats pizza. You put this in your trap and it's gonna get triggered faster than a snowflake. All right guys, so uh, let me show you the trap here. All right guys, so there's our trap all baited up. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit while we go bear hunting. And I'm gonna put a GoPro camera on this trap so we can see if anything gets caught in the trap, okay? All right guys, so we got the trap set. Should we uh, go hunting now? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we need to go make weapons to hunt animals. You guys, should we go make weapons? Who wants a spear? Me! Me! All right, I think we should go make some spears. I want to blow bubbles on the bull's eyeballs too. You're gonna, you're gonna blow the bubbles at the animal's eyeballs? Yeah! yeah. Well, oh, good, I'm glad oh. you guys brought bubbles then. Oh. <laughs> All right, there we go. Got my spear tip. All right, Nate, well, this will be your spear here. It's attracting the bears? Yeah, and a bees, and a rose, and hawks. And hawks? And a tigers. Yeah. Oh, that's quite a good one. While we wait for an animal to get in our trap, what should we go hunting for? A bear! A bear! All right, let's go bear hunting. So if we're gonna hunt bear, we need bear bait. 
It's Who's going to be the bear bait? Not me. Not me. Not me. Okay, Nathan's the bear bait. So no. No, this will be fun. This is the fun part. And to help enhance the flavor of Nathan when we use him as bear bait, we're going to rub him in pepperoni pizza. Just rub the pizza into the boy's face as much as you can. Really helps enhance the flavor of children. You feel tasty, Nathan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, you guys ready to go hunt bears? Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go hunt bear this way. Let's go hiking. We'll hunt some bears and then we'll go check our trap. All right, Tom, you got your spear? Yeah. Keep an eye out for bears. Or maybe a raccoon. Or a raccoon. We'll spear a raccoon. Brown bear would be awesome. Brown bear would be awesome. How many miles have we been hiking? 100 miles. Oh, wait, guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get down. Come over here. Come here. Get down. Wait, I think I hear something. Be very quiet. What was that? Be very quiet. I think Daddy hears something. Yeah. I think I hear something. Listen, you hear it? Yeah. That must have been the bears doing that. <laughs> Maybe a bear over here in this valley. Maybe we should throw rocks down there and see if any bears move. A bear! Should I throw my spear down there? Yeah. Whoa. Did I get a bear? Oh, I got one. Did, did I get a bear? Yeah. We have it's, to go down there to get our bear. I don't know if I want a bear that bad. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. Yeah, I, I ain't walking down there. You think this should be my new spear? Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this spear. This is, oh, look, this is big enough for daddy. Yes. See how far I can throw this spear. <sighs> Not too bad. Th that's my spear? Yeah! The tree! Big, Watch out! Oh. Let's see if Dad can throw his spear. Oh. Whew. Whew. Wow. Good throw there, bud. Alright, let's go back and check the trap. See if we caught anything. How long do I have to walk, Daddy? Oh, just another 10 miles or so. Baby bears you, in eyeballs. You got two baby bears in the eyeballs? Yeah. Hey guys, I think I see something. I think the trap's sprung. Let's go check it out. Ah! What is it? It's a deer. Oh man, look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, that worked like a charm. Look at that. Right around the neck, right where it should be. Oh, wait. Hey, I think he's still alive. Hold on. <clears throat> there we go. Let's take him home and cook him. All right, guys, we're back here at the cabin, and I'm going to show you how to gut and prepare baby deer. Now, fawn is an absolute treat. It's a, it's a delicacy in most parts of the country, um, and so here is no exception. And when you want to prepare succulent baby deer, you want to open the chest cavity and cool off the carcass as quickly as possible. Now I know YouTube's got some weird rules about showing us killing animals, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just talk you through it and uh, try, to, try to avoid anything too graphic here. But we're gonna take this buck 110, we're gonna shove it right here into the chest cavity, and we're gonna work our way from the throat all the way to the anus right there. And oh look, this is, this right here, this, the organs on a baby deer are the best. Look at that. You want some? Yeah. Yeah, enjoy that, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Let me let me get into the chest cavity here. Oh yeah, look at this. This, this right here is why you eat baby deer. That is delicious stuff right there. Here, why don't you have some of that? And I gotta tell you, there, you can, you can fry it, you can smoke it, make sausages out of it, but probably the best way to eat baby deer is just fresh, you know? Mm. Mm. Sashimi style. Oh, don't look in there. It's really gross, Nathan. Was that good? Here, have some more. I've got some lungs here. Lungs. Oh, you want the lungs? Oh, good. Okay, guys, what does it taste like? It tastes like cotton candy. Tastes like cotton candy. That's right. Baby deers fart rainbows, and they taste like cotton candy. So they're one of the best animals to eat out there. 
You guys like the baby deer? Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this video. You hope you had a good time uh, learning how to catch, clean, and cook baby deer. Uh, if you guys want to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, check out our video on trapping and relocating toddlers, as well as how to hunt children. We've got lots of great tutorials here on our channel, and we put out new videos every Saturday morning. Who wants some more baby deer guts? Me. Yeah, they're the best.